Hey guys, Sonico Zero JPS here, and uh, we're gonna be starting up the next Castlevania game. I let my friend saw she picked in, she picked Portrait of Ruin. I'm gonna go in for a hundred percent all quest, all areas, all map percentage completion. So that means we'll be getting a thousand percent map completion, hundred percent on side quest. I'm not gonna worry too much about um learn getting all the enemy completions on their items most of them i will need to complete but not all uh but i will be going for mastery of uh sub weapons I'm gonna let this play out. 1944. So technically, this game takes place after Bloodlines, and this is before Arya of Sorrow, or technically before the Demon Castle Wars, Second World War. So yeah, we know this is where this is taking place. Because. Uh, Jonathan is Jonathan Morris is the successor of the whip at this point and his father John Morris had passed away We will learn the reasons of bloodlines through this game <laughs> yeah, Charlotte hates being called a child. <laughs> though she is young, though. And thus we start the game. So right here where this change cube is, um, there's going to be a spot that opens up and it's going to be the last area I have to explore. It's called the Nest of Evil. How do I unlock it? I have to get 888% of the map completed, which means basically 100% of all the other maps and basically the the Dracula's castle itself it doesn't have to be hundred percent. It has to be roughly in the eight uh, you will get about ninety percent of it done anyways. But I do believe you can't get the Nest of Evil to open up until you have to awaken the vampire killer, I believe. You have to be the true success of the vampire killer, and I believe you might also I know you have to do the other four portraits, but I don't know if you have to fight a uh, certain boss fight. Yeah. 
And as you can see, you can see the stats over there on the uh, right hand side. I'm going to be using this just for a little bit. They, uh, they honestly kind of do want you to, to drop it like almost that fast. A short sword. But we're not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to stop using a vampire killer. And we have our first save, which is good. So, I uh, actually, I don't even need Charlotte for this, so. This room, be very quick about it. Got it. You want to break those three before that thing shows up. That's a behemoth. Each of these take three hits. But you can get through this fairly quickly by just Jonathan alone. And the whip will let you hit both of these at the same time. And that's at the last two. And just jump up here and hang here. And there's the behemoth. And he's going to blast on through. Yeah, you can hit him. Ain't going to do much. The knife. This is our first sub weapon. Now, something about the knife. It takes a mastery. 300 SP points to master. But we will be doing a lot of mastery of this stuff much, much later. Trust me. There's a certain quest I'm going to do. I'm going to cheese to get the master rings. And that would quadruple the amount of EXP I get. So uh, one master ring will give me two times. But if you have two of them, you get four times. So that's the main goal. Normally, we can't get up here. We're required to get double jump. Or actually, nah, we can't even get double jump. We're supposed to get a skill cube that will let us bounce off our partner's head. But if I do this and some of my partner, I'm going to put the arrow right here. And I'm going to tap and switch. So basically what I'm trying to do is cheese it by creating a second double jump. There we go. Whip skill one. Yeah, I literally just cheesed it. And there's the boss door. We're not going to go through that because that's that behemoth. I'm not fighting him. So basically we just did that just so I can get... The spear, which is a lot better of a weapon to use anyways. The weight cube. There's a lot of these weight cubes and such. This statue is glowing green, but you can also destroy it. And we get Raging Fire, which is a spell for Charlotte. Which you can charge him up pretty well. I know I want to get up here, but I do not have enough height to do it. I will come back to that from another spot. Woo! You ain't hit me. As long as you hit each of them, an enemy once, you will get SP. So I should have like three SP right now. Yeah, three. Each of them gives one. So we're not going to worry too much about it. Those axe armors, I do want them to drop their... Well, the axe I shall receive. I got the axe. I do need that. I think, what was that? A cube. Oh, it just tells me the name, so... And that was really necessary to get. Headguard. That's a piece of gear for Jonathan. And here we have a teleporter. Well, we don't have nowhere to go. So let's go ahead and open up our spot down here. And that takes us back to where we got chased by that behemoth, which honestly, I don't know if there's 
There's no enemies that spawn in here, so no point of worrying about this. Well, okay, thanks for your drop. And time to introduce a new NPC. If you don't recognize him, that's Eric Lacard. He won't tell us that his name until later on. But yeah, this is Eric Lacard from Bloodlines. Yeah, he's Eric Lacar because he knows about him. And just calling him kid and taunting him is just to get under his skin. So we already have potions, so we don't need potions. Oh, the quest preparation says buy a potion, buy a castle map. So this is all we really need. Um, This is the mastering. This is my main goal to get two of these. But also right now I want this. So we will switch to the spear and Tome of Arms and we will switch to Rock Riot. And I'll make that save here. This will be a good spot to stop for the intro. I know it's short, but it's only like not even 15 minutes long, but I just wanted to get stuff going. Actually, before we go, let's go ahead and turn this in because we do get an item. When you set the quest, you see the quest, it's, you know, grayed out. And then when you accept it, it's orange. When you're ready to turn it in, or you have the items, it will be green. I don't think it gives you the notifications that saying, hey, it's time to turn in this quest. You just have to pay attention. And we get the lizard tail. This is a relic. Now we can slide.
So yeah, we now have our goal, find these paintings. And if you notice, we're going to see our first painting soon. That will be part of the next video. Sadly, I didn't even level up. Honestly, if, if I was more ballsy and I had a little bit more confidence in dealing with that behemoth, I would fight him first, but he's just going to be way too strong for me. So we'll stop here, I'm going to make my save, and we will pick up the next part with me visiting the first painting. So till then, take care, and see you in the next part.